can't. Oh, I feel sick. What's happening? Do I have cancer again? You drank too much! That's a thing? Oh, eat a dick, jungle! Cover it with malaria and leeches, sprinkle some dengue fever on it, and eat a big goddamn jungly dick! Yeah, you do that, and I'll just wait here for a basque of Orinoco crocodiles to wander by and eat me. Oh, great! That's probably them now, tearing around on specially equipped croc choppers. Wait, what the? Oh, oh, goddess of the jungle, I, I take it all back. For when I was thirsty, you saw fit to slake my... <laughs> Goddess of the jungle, you are a whore. Oh, thank God, I, I thought you were crocodiles. <laughs> crocodiles? On a three-wheeler? Right? How scary would that be? We don't have enough field agents to effectively run our covert operations. Especially since this one went and got himself paralyzed. Yeah, that's me, Mr. Selfish. More like Ms. The reward is a million dollars! Exactly, and how many drug users could be treated with that money? Who cares? Seriously? Lana, they'd just go buy a million dollars worth of crack with it. You don't give them the money. You can't. They'll blow it on crack. Oh, my God. No, they won't, because it'll be in the ISIS bank account. Because you're going to get Calzado dead or alive. And Cyril, dress appropriately, you'll be helicoptering into the jungle. Cool. Oh, and this whole thing reminds me... Pam, 9 a.m. Friday morning, all ISIS employees will take a drug test. Okay. And knock off that damn beatboxing transform. Oh, last week it was freestyling. No, forget the glass, Woodhouse. Just give me the pitcher. For I am a sinner in the hands of an angry god. Bloody Mary, full of vodka, blessed are you among cocktails. Pray for me now, and at the hour of my death, which I hope is soon. Amen. Uh, perhaps a coddled egg. No, no eggs, Woodhouse. Maybe ever again. Some dry toast? Yeah, or you could skip a step and just feed me some vomit. Not like you to get a hangover, sir. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, I kind of remember being at the wake. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. On behalf of his fellow ISIS agents, please let me be the first to offer my condolences. And let me be the first to welcome you back into the dating pool. <laughs> And or my new hot tub. But after that, it's just snippets. I think I had one more drink there. Drink, 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 drink. Then, I think I took a cab. Hang on! Wait! Let me see some hands! Who wants chicken and waffles? How did we bring food in here? Oh, and also, did we lose some people? Lana and Cyril bailed! Trifling bitches! Here! But you're a trifling bitch, too! Oh! Oh! What did I just put inside me? Green Russians! It's absinthe and milk! Sweet shit snacks! Look at those! Oh, my God! That's right! It's somewhat coming back to me. Woo! I'm Pac-Man Jones! Come home with me! Plus, my valet will give you some heroin! Thankfully, I didn't have to share. But she did. She came home with me. I remember. I mean, Green Russians, it's fuzzy. I don't remember this. But I do remember her being the best sex I've ever had in my life. Uh. Shut up. And that includes Europe, Lana, my Brazilian au pair. No woman has ever made me... Oh, shit! Sir? Phone number. Matchbook. I, I don't know her name, where she works. Woodhouse, how am I going to find her? Um, uh, you might check the loo. What, here? Why didn't you say so? Oh! Ow! Ow. 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 Uh, so, hey, hi. I'm, uh, Sterling Archer. You, you may remember me from the strip club, and hopefully also from what was hands down the most incredible sex that I personally have ever had. Uh, hello? Oh, right, so, uh, I know, uh, we had an implied oral agreement about heroin, but... Heroin? What? That's the last frickin' thing I need! Ugh, I'm bound up tighter than Dick's hat band! No, 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 not... Wait, were you... Did 
Did we? Yeah, we did, and you loved it. No, I was like, I can't. <sighs> what do you mean Lana hasn't called? I mean, I've been sitting here for like five million years, and the phone hasn't rung once. So every time it doesn't, I just assume it's not her not calling to say that they... They should have rescued Sterling and Rip from the pirates hours ago. Maybe they did and just didn't call. No, I gave them explicit orders to... What the hell are you wearing? Uh, this thing called my boss made me sleep at my desk. So pajamas? Men's pajamas? For God's sake, woman, where is your pride? In my work? That may be the funniest thing you've ever said. Thank you. Oh, shut up. Leave me for some hot little 20-year-old? Well, I'll show him. I'll go find me a 10-year-old. Can I please look at your wound? No. Nor can you burn down my apartment, so think of something else. I shall fetch a rug. Something else, else. You're not rolling him up in one of my rugs. Why not? Because then what? We get some coveralls and a van, like a carpet cleaning van, and just walk him right out the front door. You just called me an idiot for that. Your version didn't have coveralls. Could we go out through the basement? No, we'd have to go past the super's apartment, and his door is always open. I assume to let the stink of cabbage waft through the halls, but... So you think he'd be a problem? God, yes. We're not on the best of terms. Well, Mum, it, it's just at Christmas. The tenants usually give me a small consideration for the work I do all year keeping up the building. We surely count on it, Mum, especially this year, as we had more than the usual medical bills. Your point being... Well, it's just that for the third year running, you give me a potato. Oh, dear. So once again, you're faced with the classic Irishman's dilemma. Do I eat the potato now or let it ferment so I can drink it later? <coughs> well, I get the operation now, da. No, son. You're gonna die. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel your power. What's that? You want me inside you? Sterling. You know my name? Sterling! Hmm? Oh, uh, sorry. I believe a thank you is in order. Mother! Oh my god, yes, thank you. And not just, well, mostly me, of course, but Dr. Krieger helped too. Well, only if by help you mean... <laughs> oversaw the design of the world's most insanely kick-ass spy car. It's a spy car? Lana? What? Lana! Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! Yeah, I'm like a magnet. <coughs> Brett, shut up. What else does it do? Press that red button. I... Wait, is it gonna kill everybody? Press that blue button. Thanks a lot. Thank you. There is no Mars without you, Tony. I'm sorry. S sorry? You, you're sorry? You just single-handedly doomed mankind! Hey, even so, black astronaut, that's still pretty huge. It actually is. And at least your own mother didn't just play chicken with your life. <laughs> self burn Cyril! Okay, Drake, you're gonna fly us back to Earth to stand trial for whatever, space piracy. No man can judge me. Well, you say that, Mars but... forever! <laughs> I think I got him. Did I get him? You did. You got those two guys who were just minding their own business. Ooh, and also the one remaining person who could fly us back to Earth. A black astronaut, Cyril. That's like killing a unicorn. Ah. Is that Babu? Or not, apparently. Okay. Wow. Lana! Cyril! Jesus! Lana! Cyril! Hey, Pam! Lana! What? He remembers me! Cyril, why are you in here? I didn't know where you guys were. It doesn't matter where we are, Noob Gingrich. Then get out! Where's the prisoner? In my compartment. At least he was. Although he doesn't seem to be in here now. <laughs> no kidding. Um... Nope. Lana! Cyril, oh my god. Too late. He's gone. Thanks to Cyril. Well, he's not gonna jump off a train going 80 miles an hour, so... So yeah, we'll sweep car by car, moving front to back. Good. You guys do that. I'll get a big raw steak from the kitchen. <sighs> Are you talking about the ocelot? Are you not? How you doing, Riley? How the hell do you think I'm doing? Hey, relax, Nick Furious. Save your strength for flying the chopper. And again, I, I'm just incredibly sorry. <laughs> What's your blood type? How would I know? What? How would you not? Who am I, Carl Landsteiner?
Discoverer of blood groups? You don't know your own blood type, but you know who discovered them. Yeah, now. Your exact words, Pam. Dr. Charles Drew, or I will eat a bag of dicks. Bring them. <laughs>